Hey, hey, everybody. Y'all, I'm losing track of time. I did not know that today was Friday because y'all was for surely not finna get a vlog. So, instead of y'all get, well, I mean, not a vlog, but y'all are definitely gonna get a live tonight, but I'm about to make a cooking video. Y'all, I just woke up because today is like, I don't know, it just feels like so different. Like, I don't even know, like, the whole world today was just making me feel like I was the only person left in the world in, like, one of those movies where it's just desert, you're stuck in Kansas-looking type of Wizard of Oz, Oz look. So, today we're about to make a fried fish sandwich. I mean, well, fried fish po' boy sandwich. So, I'm going to start with my coleslaw. And then we're gonna work our way to the fish and see you in the okay, kitchen. So I'm about to show you all the ingredients to make a coleslaw. Now this is just a trial and error because I've never made coleslaw before, but I'm just going to use my regular uh, Thousand Island dressing that I use, you know, I mean my little concoction that I mix up. And then I'm just gonna add, you know, a little bit, um, different stuff so, so here first we go. off you're gonna need some coleslaw and i just got this one from my local walmart and to start off with my thousand dollar dressing i'm going to use some miracle whip some sweet relish and some ketchup and i'm going to mix that together i'm going to season with some salt and pepper to taste i'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar for that nice um crunchy uh vinegar base or whatever and i'm just going to put two um shakes of hot sauce in there you know because i do like uh hot sauce on my fish so we're gonna do it this way i really hope that y'all can see this because i need to go buy me a smaller tripod but let me take the rest of my little america whip out of here actually i think i don't even think i need to open the other one y'all Make sure y'all get y'all one of these when y'all trying to get out mayonnaise and everything else because it literally scoops the whole shebang. Uh, I think I'm going to put a little bit more in there. I think that should be enough. Let's go ahead and put a little ketchup in there. Just a little bit. Let me go ahead and dash my little two things of hot sauce. One, two, three, four. Okay. Even numbers, everybody. Let's go ahead and put some sweet relish into this deep thing. Let me go ahead and put some little pepper. And some, uh, a little bit of salt. Oh, damn, I'm being so hard today. And just a little bit of, there you go, apple cider vinegar. Now we're just going to mix this all together. I think this would have been good for some sriracha if I had some too. Let's give this, let's give this a taste. Since my test man ain't over here. All right, y'all, he said bring it over here. Let's go see if we can taste the $1,000. Okay. What else does it need? That's good. Mm. You don't need no more ketchup or anything like that? Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, he said that was just fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in some coleslaw. Uh, let's just see like a half a bag. Real quick, over. 
Okay, yeah, I want my coleslaw to be creamy, but I don't want to be overly creamy where then it just like wilts up. You know, I still want to like have some type of crunch element to it. Okay. Alright, so let's go put this into the refrigerator until it's time to prep the food. Okay, you guys, so I just have some catfish for light fillets from my local um, Mad Butcher. It's in Sacramento. So, I'm just going to give a quick little rinse to my fish. And then I'm going to take some paper towels and I'm going to dry my fish off because I don't want my fish to hold that water when I'm trying to put my uh, batter with my seasoning. Nice good size pieces. You already know USDA quality. Y'all will have to buy some salmon next time I go to the store because I haven't been finding no salmon that I really even thought was appealing. And even when I did find a piece that looked real good, they was overcharging. I don't know where I got this little, um, it might have been a cooking show. Because y'all already know I'm already, I'm already, I always be watching a cooking show. So what you do is you take your paper towels, right? You just put them in there. Then you just put your fish right on in here. And then you want to like shake your fish all around. Well, I can't do it with both hands because this G thing is heavy. Hold on, let me see. So what I have in here is I have half and half of all-purpose flour and cornmeal. I have some red pepper flakes, onion powder, uh, what else I have in here, black pepper. Um, I put something else in here, but yeah, I usually will put a little bit of Old Bay, but I don't have any. So here's what it's looking like. And our fish is all nice and dry for the most part. So yeah. Get me a different type of skillet because this skillet is more like for like cooking steak and stuff like this so i will be getting another one but i have my temperature on medium high heat and i'm just gonna let it get a little hot before we put the fish my in. oil looks nice and hot so i just have three pieces of fish right here i'm just gonna put them inside the oil and then i'll put my other pieces in there and then in the meantime, while y'all fish is cooking, I'm going to put some um, tater tots in my air fryer. And I'm also going to wash my little few dishes because you wash your dishes and clean cook as you go. It's my non soap in there. Let's check on our fish, see how it's doing. Yeah, we saw that good seasoning on that fish. 
you know when your fish is done because it's going to be a golden brown. I usually like my fish to extra crunchy, not falling apart. So this looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to take it out the oil. Let the oil heat up a little bit more. And then I'm going to put my other four fillets in. It's looking good, but let's just shake them around. So that way they can cook on the other sides. Y'all, I kind of think I like the, the aluminum foil better out of my air fryer. Yo, I was trying to respond back to my Snapchat and actually bring this little grid. But we're just going to do this one today. <laughs> If you want to be all loud and stuff in the background. But it's nice and toasty. Okay, y'all. So I just put my fish on there. Here's what my coleslaw is looking like. Just going to put some on here. Y'all should have made my own coleslaw, but, you know, a girl don't be having time. You want some more? That's good right there. Don't take a big boy bite. You got the plate? Yeah, I got the plate. <clears throat> Is it good? Mm hmm. Oh, y'all see him turning red? Why does he always turn red? But going to give him another bite for eight tomorrow. Lick your lips in the corner. Oh Lord. Y'all that's big boy eats. So you finna do the rest of the dishes or what? Mm -mm. Yes you are. Mm -mm. Yes you are. Get on over there. Ugly self. Oh, let's get a look closer to it. Look at that nice little fish sandwich. Poor boy, poor boy. Let's get in for the crunch. Mmm. Y'all know it's good when the fish hang at the bottom, at the back. I did pretty good on my own coleslaw. Okay. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Pouch's Kitchen. The food is done. Y'all come on in here and get y'all a plate. Get y'all some water, get some Diet Coke, apple juice in there, orange juice, you know, get a little alizé, do we finna drink today, okay? <coughs> oh. Y'all, that's good. That's good.